Question 1. What are things needed for a basic paint project? Answer. For basic paint project you need 2 inch blue painters tape, drop cloth, sandpaper, trisodium phosphate, 1 and half or 2 inch sash brush, 2 or 3 inch flat sash brush, disposable liners and paint brush, 9 inch roller, screw on extension pole and roller cover. Question 2. What are the safety equipments you have to wear while doing spray painting? Answer. Goggles, respirator, HEPA, spray sock, gloves, full body coveralls. Question 3. What always you can do house painting? Answer. Brush painting, spray painting, using roller, using painting pads. Question 4. What is the use of trisodium phosphate? Answer. Trisodium phosphate is like any other soap or detergent, it is used as a cleansing agent. But benefit of using trisodium phosphate is that it does not leave any residue behind. Question 5. Mention some tips to paint your room perfectly? Answer. To paint your room perfectly you require, roll the full height of the wall and keep a wet edge. This would help you to avoid lap marks. In a large bucket mix several cans of paint to get a consistent color throughout the room. To get a perfect edge, first let the paint dry and later you can cut the tape loose. Paint in this order. Trim first, ceiling and wall. To avoid a blotchy finish prime and texture wall patches, clean dirty surfaces so that the paint can form a strong bond. For consistent textures roll paint along the edge. Feather out paint whenever you cannot keep a wet edge. Sand trim between coats to have an ultra smooth finish. Use cotton drop cloth to protect the floor. Question 6. Before you start painting your room what you should take care of? Answer. Safety first. Use a sturdy ladder with a shelf for your paint and tools. Cover your eyes with goggles and use overcoat to keep paint away from your body. Color selection. Use color chart to get a choice for the color. Use online website to check color combination. Sampling. Use white poster board paint it with different shades and allow it to dry. Once it is done put it in different rooms to see the alteration in color shade. Right sheen. You can use a high gloss paint for a stylized room wash before you start painting wall make sure you have cleaned it properly without any dirt or patches left on it primer to get a polish look primer is a must but make sure that you use an oil based primer instead of water based it would help you to cover water stains plan your paint it is worse when you finish paint in the middle of painting and that too if it is a combination of different colors measure and calculate properly every corner of the room and then prepare it in bulk Use tape. Use a tape to cover your trim area. And then start for wall painting. Question 7. Explain how you can prevent color slipping into trim area that is covered with tape. Answer. Sometimes covering the trim area only with tape would not be enough to stop the color dripping into it. You need some sealant that keeps no space in the tape. You can use cork as a sealant to do this. Wipe the cork beads with fingers and it eventually seals the tape and would not allow any color to go across it. Question 8. What is the shortcut to paint without taping? Answer. Many found taping a tedious job. You can still do your painting without using tape. First paint the ceiling and trim without using tape, and then use an edge to make a clean paint perimeter over the trim and below the ceiling. Finish it by painting the walls.